This is basically like one of my first uh, prototype units. I have a unit that will be a little bit wider and bigger for, for bigger families of course. But this one suits me really well because I don't have a whole lot of laundry. I'm, I'm single so I don't have to put a lot of laundry in there. Um, I built this drying cabinet for three different reasons. One was to save a lot of electricity which it really does. Um, the other reason was to stop damaging clothes because I had damaged um, some of my wife's uh, bras and things because I put them into a regular um, dry, dryer, you know, a tumble dryer. And um, when they were tam tumbling around, I guess they got damaged. So she was pretty upset about that because uh, bras are fairly expensive these days. Um, and I was also upset about this particular unit because it's only about three and a half, four years old and it already went kaput. Uh, there's something in there, some kind of a switch or something that's not working. Um, standard dryers like this that are electric, uh, they use a lot of electricity because primarily they have a motor for the tumbler, they have a motor for the fan blower, and then they also have a, an electrical element that's heating, heating the air that's getting blown through there. So you're talking about, uh, I don't know, I think this one's rated at 2,000 or 2,000, 2,200 watts, where this unit, it's using a single fan motor, it's running on 40 watts, and um, it really does the job. It's, it's very quiet. I don't know if you can hear it running, but it is, it is running right now. And um, the reason I have it all set up here in this room is so a person doesn't get the idea that it has to be set up in a particular place. Like it, it has to be set up in a utility room or it has to be set up here or there or there. The reason I set it up like this is so you can see that it could be set up uh, in a room. It could be set up in a, in a kitchen. Uh, the doors on it are something that I'll probably be offering basically a, a white door and then a stainless steel door and then possibly this black door. I don't know because this was a prototype unit. This is basically what I just came up with for, for a starter unit. Uh, but uh, that will all work out uh, and it will be on the order sheet. Um, on the order side uh, when, when, when it goes to, to market. Um, I'll give you a little demonstration of why I like this unit so much. Here you go. Yeah. Stay there. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Good boy. Um, basically, um, I've got these racks that are built. And so you've got your fan. There, I just turned it off, so here I'll turn it back on again. And you can hear it's, it's pretty quiet. It's the same type of fan you use as an exhaust fan in a bathroom, but it works excellent for this purpose. Uh, this is just a, a fairly heavy sweatshirt. Um, it's, it's almost dry. Um, here's kind of a, a dress shirt. Yeah, it's, it's just about there too. And then I have some socks in here, a couple of uh, t-shirts down below, and then I have a pair of, uh, a pair of shorts here. And I just basically hook them on the, on the rungs here. So, and that's it. Air comes in from outside. You can set it up any way you want, really. You can set it up to take air from inside the room and pump it outside, or you can have an inlet uh, coming from outside air coming in through the unit and then pumping it outside again, because you don't want that moist air flowing around your house, uh, unless you live in a really super dry climate. That's uh, you know that's another thing. But um, I found these uh, steel hangers at a uh, at a second-hand store, and I just thought that they were great because uh, 
they're, they're pretty heavy duty, and they're wide, and uh, I found out that they're perfect for, for this example. I can put uh, my tennis shoes on there and hang them up. And then on the inside of the unit, this can slide in at any level. So if you have uh, some children or something that's going to have to hang up their jackets because they've been out in the rain, they can, you can set this one down low so they can reach it. Uh, it. It'll go all the way down to here, you know, down to here. So it doesn't matter where you want to put it. You can put it all the way up to the top or all the way down to the bottom, anywhere in between. So it's a nice thing. So because it's so adjustable, um, you know, anybody can use it in the home. And um, I designed these and I made them out of wood because uh, there's so many products on the market that are made out of steel. The nice thing about these being made out of wood is because if, if something happened to it, if they're, they're really durable, but if something had happened to it, got broken or something, it could always be burned or it could be ground up and be made into something else. And um, this was one of the first uh, inspirations I had for, for a design because I thought that if my, uh, if my wife or somebody was going to use it and they want to just hang a lot of bras on there, you can, you can see that because you've got this much space in between here, you could hang, you know, five or ten, five, five or eight bras on there, uh, you know, so you've got plenty of room there. You could, you could uh, hang some socks over there or whatever, so it's pretty easy to use. And then I thought, well, if the fan's going to be running and you don't want to, if you just happen to have some uh, herbs that you want to dry, I made these frames with some screen on it, so basically uh, you can go ahead and dry. I've dried some sage, and there's some rosemary, and there's some uh, mint, mint leaves. But um, it, it's pretty handy. Uh, you can make tea or whatever out of that mint, so that's pretty good.